you do know that if you hit that like, share, and subscribe, that it would absolutely save my grandmother from a beating. I'm Lone Wolf Niner, and today I'm going to be playing... Coming up next, a matchup for the UFC lightweight division title. is the number one lightweight contender making his way to the octagon and looking to lead as the new undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world. He has bided his time, waiting for this title shot. He's got the winning streak. He has the quality of opposition. Now he's fighting the number one guy in the world. He believes he's the best. Now his opportunity to prove it just a few minutes away. As he makes his way towards the cage, his preparation has been perfect. He is in fantastic shape, had an amazing camp, and he believes that he is in the perfect position to become the new champion of the world. As he steps into the octagon right now, he steps in with a champion's mindset. So here he is, the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world. This is his Sarah Jiu Jitsu, title. baby. So let's go. The title shot made good on that. Now we'll see if he can defend the belt and mute the naysayers who say that he's not really the champion until he defends this 155 pound gold. This is one of the UFC's harder belts in which to defend. If he <coughs> defend it tonight, you gotta think a lot of the naysayers aren't gonna have a whole lot to say. This is his first world title defense. He won the title in spectacular fashion, and now he has an opportunity to further cement his legacy by defending his title. And now our tale of the tape for this lightweight fight. More than a decade separates these two fighters. Mad Monkey. Some differences Nick Sarah. We sent it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. The Mad Monkey! Popping my jab, working the body and legs, and go for that takedown when I feel fit. And wrap him up, baby. I am very fired up for this fight. It's been a long time coming. The fans have been anticipating this for a long time, and it is gonna go down right now. We are underway. All right, so here we go Ooh. for round one. This belt as hard to retain as any in the UFC. The UFC lightweight championship. And there is the belt holder wearing the black and gold. We'll see if he can maintain the title here tonight against the number one contender. As many of you know, this is his first title defense. And he has said, I have Get no off, intentions buddy. of relinquishing the title, especially to this type of contender. We'll see if Damn. he can follow up and turn My striking's not that good. I'm a pure ground guy. Inside leg kick is there by Trujillo. I have a good jab. That's it. I pop the jab a lot. Try to work the legs. 
chooses to attack with it. Does he go low to the leg? Does he go high to the head? Let's see how the early portions of this fight play out. Oh! Beautiful. Uh, no, 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 no. Oh. Putting his hands down on the thighs. He's looking to pass. Big punch from the bottom. Oh, pretty good work here from the bottom, Joe, as he tags him with that punch. This might be over. He's looking for a guillotine choke. He's in full guard here. What he needs to do to get the guillotine is first, he's got to throw his... This arm might be over, back. boys and girls. All righty. the job and got the victory well yeah Joe you could tell he's been working on his submission game that was really a choke that was set up perfectly he got it sunk in deep and his opponent was going to go to sleep if he didn't tap out so Bruce Buffer has the official decision that was too easy Ladies and gentlemen. easy work baby I'm Megan Olivi and this is your UFC minute as a fighter's wins begin to add up, the pressure to maintain momentum becomes a major factor. To win in the UFC isn't easy. To do it as many times in a row as this lightweight standout has is a remarkable feat that has this fighter on the verge of even more big things in the world-renowned octagon. As he prepares for his latest battle in mixed martial arts ultimate proving ground. That's it for today. Stay tuned for your next UFC Minute, and I'll see you at the fights. All right, next we got Mr. Fergie Ferguson. All right, let's get it. Coming up next, a matchup for the UFC lightweight division title. Uh, this is going to be a tough fight here. He's over 90 in every category, so I'm going to have to really watch it here. Number one lightweight title challenger, the number one contender, at least in terms of the rankings, getting set for a title fight here tonight. A lot of people think he is a live underdog in this championship setting. I guess we'll find out here, Joe Rogan. As he makes his way towards his cage, he believes this is his time. He believes he is destined to. Take Should his I title test him on the ground, though? That's the thing, man. I know he's good on the ground, but so am I. With a great game plan, and but do I want to risk being submitted? Because I like to wear the guys out a little bit for a few rounds, and then when I know they're tired and their stamina is low, is when I usually clamp on the submissions. I just don't know if I want to take him to the ground so soon. Hopefully, I get the better of the exchange there. I don't know. Uh, maybe I'll pop the jab for the first round. Work the legs like always. And then we'll decide from there. If he can, just another chapter in the greatness of one of the best lightweights this octagon has ever seen. The champion headed to the cage right now. He's in the groove. He is in his prime right now. His training for this bout has been perfect. He believes he has a solid game plan. And he's ready to step in here and retain his title. He is well prepared for this contest. And now our tail the tape for this lightweight scrap. Ferguson he's got a longer reach. He's heavier. He will have Same size. Reach advantage. Now for the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Bell Center in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. It's time! Five rounds for the UFC Lightweight Championship of the World. It's his fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a freestyle fighter. 
50 and 9. That's an incredible record. Tony, don't let me ankle pick your fucking ass, Vegas. Let's go, Sarah Jiu-Jitsu, baby. Let's get her done. I really wish you'd allow me to use the name Nick and then Sarah. It doesn't even have Mad Monkey, it has Gorilla, so I had to put call him Gorilla. Which we all know it's the Mad Monkey. Alright, here we go. I am fired All right, up for this fight. It's been a long time coming and they're finally gonna get after it. Ready? Ah, yes, here we go. Five rounds defeated. Okay, of the world. All right, so here he is after a win by submission in his previous championship fight. We'll see what he can produce for an encore. It was an outstanding performance to win the title of you short Trying to remember ago. how to do now my we'll kicks here that I have. I know I think I have a front body kick. As a win. Nice kick right there. Just trying to figure out how to do it here. All right, first round is underway, and I don't have to tell the avid fans you got to watch out for this fighter's powerful overhand punches. He does not discriminate power from both sides. Popping his jab, maybe keeping the range going run. here, tiring him out a little bit. Oh, nice check. Work both sides of that jab. Huge uppercut misses. Beautiful. Orthodox for much of the fight. He's going southpaw here, Joe. Lands an outside leg kick of his own. Oh, I thought I blocked that, baby. I thought I blocked it. Come on. We cross the midpoint in round one. Well placed kick there by Tony Ferguson. Connects with the punch there. Well, he walked into his opponent's range there and ate that hook. He was unprotected, unguarded, and he's been susceptible to that hook oh. in previous UFC fights. Got to figure out a way to move those feet and ultimately circle out and get that head off. Just the kicked the leg again. Ah, oh, oh, got me again with that body two. shot, baby. Damn. And now oh. Snap off that jab. Oh, he switches his stance again. Nice punch by Tony Nice punch. Oh, big what an exchange here. Oh, there's the ankle pick. No, 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 no. No. Get out of there. Woo. Try to establish that jab. He got tagged there. Lance to the body. Oh, big shot. 45 seconds oh. to go here in round one. Come on, baby. He landed that nice. Flush. So we crossed the 30 second mark in our opening round. Oh, beautiful, beautiful right. Yeah, he's hand. countering as soon as I throw that jab. Final seconds here. Oh. That rounds up in the air, man. I thought I was winning it, but then hey. he's a bum, he says. He's a bum. Meanwhile, you're handing me water. <clears throat> Really All right, baby. Excellent striking being displayed in that round. Carly Baker in the building tonight. Thank you very much. Okay, round two, ready? You ready? All right, round two. All 
right, so here we go with round two. We'll see if these fighters get after it. You saw at the beginning of round Carlin one. has won two, a little more, a little combos. Round, don't get me wrong, but we will see here in round two if there's an uptick in the aggression on both sides. Uh, oh, doing a damn wow, he's job. getting aggressive. And now you'll start to see his opponent slow down. Yep. Right hand forward now, switching to southpaw. Oh, a nice punch out of the break there after he had caught the leg. All right, I might have to check my ground game here soon. Get out of there. No, no. Set up, baby. Set up. Damn, oh, I'm gonna do shit. Nicely executed sweep winds up in guard. We'll see what he does here. He postures up and lands to the head. I hear my world, bitch. Still working this ground and pound. Good punches. Oh, that's a damaging strike there, Joe. Ah, he got me. He's doing a great job of moving and transitioning here on the ground. He's in half guard. Fucker. Now he's back into full guard. Caught him with a punch. Good defense here. He's got to pay for the damage you give me. Have to pay, bro. There we go. For his activity, landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by Ferguson. Now he gets the full mount again. Beautiful elbow there. That was a hard elbow there. No, no, no. No. Landing some big punches from this position. Excellent posture. Get out of here. Look at that. He's up. Just missed with the left there. Changes his stance. You'll see a lot of this from this fighter. Oh, uh, leg kick lands, and those shorts aren't mic'd up, people. That is straight volume and serious damage being inflicted to that lead leg. Slightly deflected. Again, going back to the well with the jab. He's doing a great job of blocking. <sighs> Tough round, man. Here we see trying to get that leg, but can't get it. Let's take a look at that again. He almost had me twice. Three, actually. That's right, the rear naked here, choke. Right Two leg end, locks and the rear naked out. choke. <laughs> what the... Stay a little bit more active, a bit more Keep that head All right, I have to be more aggressive here. Oh man. Now it's deeper. And he got out. Wow, that was a deep one. Excellent movement on the ground here. Always trying to better his position. Postures up now and lands the vicious head strike. Man. on the ground here constantly moving constantly staying busy postures up and lands a brutal strike to the head no 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 man I thought I blocked that Excellent movement here on the ground. 
Oh, yeah. There we go, baby. How's it say? There's no way I thought I had that. He's got him flattened out. Damaging strike there. He's got the arm trapped of his opponent. Good defense. Hip escape. Gets out of the full mount. No. Oh, it's a submission. This guy's got submissions everywhere you go, huh? Oh, he might get me. Oh, I thought he had me, boys. Transitions here on the ground, staying busy. Postures up. Ferguson's lower jaw now, Joe, started to show some signs of swelling. Hip escape, nice hip escape. Passes out of half guard and into side control. Lands a strike there. He's doing a great job of moving and oh, transitioning here. Transitions, the baby, are beautiful. Excellent movement on the ground here. Always trying no. to get his position. He's in full guard here. He's looking for the triangle. He's going to throw that leg over. He's got that. He pops it. All right, there's the clap for 10 seconds to go. Goes upstairs for an elbow. And that'll do it. 15 minutes in the books. <laughs> Damn, man. A flying submission attempt. I think I got that round with the ground. Fourth round now. Fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, so the championship medal of these two fighters figures to be tested beginning right now. Fourth round is underway. That means we have arrived at the championship rounds. And this is when the elite fighters, Joe, really separate themselves from the pack, from others in that top 15. Oh, man. Let's see. Nice straight right. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to pile up these body shots here in the ladder. Oh, Let's go. Let's go, baby. Oh. This fight is dangerously close to being stopped. Nice takedown. Beautiful. Transition. Get over, get over. Clamp it in. Clamp it in, baby. Clamp it in. Oh, uh, no. And he's out. And he's trying to pass. Oh, reversal. You got to be kidding me. Excellent movement on the ground here. Constantly moving, constantly staying busy. Under three minutes remain in round four. Hits the reversal here and in the full guard. Missed the mark. Oh, he is starting to put a lot more pressure on his opponent here, Joe. A lot lighter on his feet these last couple rounds of this fight. Inside leg kick is there for El Kukui. Oh, now he's got the tight clinch, oh, Joe. Nice oh, big knee. Oh. He's got him hurt here. Oh, big left hook there. He's trying to take the back here. Took the back mount. Beautiful, baby, beautiful. Oh, oh, he's got a very solid choke. A very solid choke. He's got an arm under the chin. He's got his forearm underneath the chin. From there, he wants Let's go. to clamp a hold of his bicep. Let's go. Let's go. Let's do it. Let's fucking go, baby. Woo. Set it up. Close it off. Got the choke for the tap. Well, you can tell he has been working hard on his submissions in his training camp. That was a near-perfect setup on that choke. Sunk it in deep, and the opponent had no choice but to tap out or go to sleep. He chose to tap out. And here we can see it again. That's a real tight choke here. Beautiful, baby. Beautiful. Now, Love Bruce it. Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliana calls a stop to this contest at 3 minutes, 38 seconds of round number 4. Declaring the winner by tap out, Nick Serra!
The Mad Monkey! Let's go, baby. Much love, baby. Make sure you hit that like, share, and subscribe.